All right, guys, so I thought this was worth showing to y'all. Not my usual kind of adventure. But uh, this big old beaver dam and this beaver pond I came across in the woods. I thought it was pretty cool. And see, there's the... I'm standing on the dam right now. I'll get down there and show it to y'all in a minute. Walking across it. Hope the beavers don't mind too much. This is uh, probably the second time I've ever walked across a beaver dam in my life. The first time was out at my grandma's house and my uncle Walter had told me a story about when he was a kid, he walked across the beaver dam that was out there that formed a beaver, beaver pond on my grandma's property. And so I was maybe 10 years old and the, the beaver dam and beaver pond area when I was a kid was not an area I was exactly allowed to go into. But his story that he told me was so cool that I just had to go out there and walk across it for myself. And I did. And so the beaver pond at grandma's house, or beaver dam I should say, uh, was a lot like this and then it ran up against a road. So I walked across it and, uh, and then made my way back up the embankment to the road that was there. And as I was walking through the uphill back to the road, I looked down at my feet and there were all these water moccasins just sliding around my feet trying to get back down to the water as I made my way to the road. Needless to say, that scared the mess out of me. But here I am again, probably about 20 years later, walking across another beaver dam just a little bit. Just to show it to you guys, I don't want to damage it. You can see all the sticks, how he's got them all put up there. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that might be his hut or not. Not entirely sure. No, I'm no beaver expert. I think their huts are actually further in the water away from where the dam is. But it's pretty cool the way that they make it. You can see it's just dirt, you know, piled up against all of this, all these sticks that they chew and dragged down from trees they're pretty cool creatures all right i'm gonna make my way back across and uh, i'll show it to you guys from the other side And would you look at this, if you've watched my videos before, you've probably heard about me complaining about finding tires and what should be a beautiful natural area. Now, those rocks right there don't look like they belong out here, so it looks like they've got dumped out here at some time. And uh, as you can see, someone has dumped tires out here probably years and years and years ago because I'm not on a county road and I'm in an area that hasn't been lived in by people for quite a long time, probably about a hundred years. And I'm far off in the woods down a trail and I find 
signs of human dumping from not that long ago. Oh, look at this. Look at that spider right there. It's a garden spider. He's jumping up and down in his web trying to scare me, I guess. What do you guys think about all of these rocks? Because some of this, these rocks look like they're, they're natural out here. There's another tire right there. Those rocks, I don't know, those rocks don't look so natural. Maybe they are. Or maybe, maybe before there was a beaver dam here, there was some kind of human dam here. I haven't seen any old mills or anything on maps for this area that I'm in. I am in the great state of Georgia, by the way. Another kind of funny story that this beaver dam made me think of is when my cousin, little George and I, when I was younger and he and I used to explore, oh, look at this. I haven't seen one of those in years. I forgot what they're called. I always thought they were cool when I was a kid and I'd find them growing. When you all comment and let me know what that's called, I've forgotten. I know that they'll come out with all this little white like fuzz that that eventually turns into I guess it's the seeds but anyway when I was younger and me and my cousin little George were exploring back roads and dirt roads and all that sort of fun stuff we uh <laughs> we came across a beaver dam actually a very similar in size beaver dam with a huge beaver pond behind it and uh, so me and little George got out and it was it was a lot more open than this it was like just a straight wall of beaver dam but we got out and uh, we wanted to bust it open oh look at that there's some more recent human activity I hate to see that but anyway uh I'll stop getting distracted and tell this story. So it was just a wall of beaver dam and uh, we really wanted to bust it open for whatever reason. And uh, so we buried some bullets from his Mosin Nagant rifle. Something just jumped right there. Uh, we buried some bullets from his Mosin Nagant rifle in the side of the beaver dam and then proceeded to shoot at the beaver dam and try to hit the bullets and make a little mini explosion in the side of the dam that would open it up and let water erupt out. Needless to say, that did not work. And I would absolutely not do that today. And I would be very discouraging about anyone going out there and doing something stupid like that. But uh, it's just a fun story. And uh, just kind of funny that we did that. We uh, definitely wouldn't go out and vandalize places, but for some reason, vandalizing the beaver's hard work seemed all right. Doesn't now, and I wouldn't do that now. But anyway, this is a beautiful place. I wanted to take a minute and show it to y'all. Not the usual sidestep adventure, but beautiful nature nonetheless. We'll see you next time.